Church. Today we are so excited to see you. My name's Alana and I'm eight. My name's Kensley and I'm five and a half. And I am Miss Alicia and we are so happy that you have joined us today. We are in our series called Lost and Found. Now we've been talking about what happens when you lose something. What if you lose your backpack? Or your shoe? Or a Lego piece? Oh, those are so tiny. Have you ever lost a Lego piece? Yes. Where do you find those things? Sometimes you look all over the house. It could be under your bed, it could be under a couch, it could be on a couch. It could be anywhere. Well, just like you lose those kinds of things, you can lose things that are closer to your heart. You can lose your patience. You can lose your peace. You can lose your, your love. And that's what we're gonna talk about this week. What happens when you lose your love? We've been reading our Bible verse, which goes like this. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. That's in Jeremiah 29, 13. God says, if we look for him, we will find him. And when we lose those things that are close to our heart, like love, and peace, and joy, all we have to do is look to him. So to kind of help us understand that a little bit more today, let's do an experiment. Do you like experiments? Yeah! Here we go. It's Santa! It's Santa! For this experiment, you will need a paper towel, a scissors, a pen, a red marker, a bowl, and a measuring cup of water, or just water. First, what you'll do is you will cut the paper towel into a little chunk. Then, you draw a big heart and a little heart above it, like this. Then, you color in the heart with your red marker. Set that aside and fill up your bowl of water. Put the paper towel in the bowl just under your heart, but no farther than that. And you got to wait until you see what happens. Yeah! Now this is what we're going to do. Picture this heart is you. If you look really close, those two little hearts right above the red one are other people around you. It could be your neighbors, it could be your friends, it could be your family, right? Yeah. Those people that you know. Now, the red on the heart representing you is the God inside of you. Our water in the bowl represents God's love, okay? So here we go. Alana is going to take the paper towel and she is going to rest the paper towel in God's love. So just rest. Rest yourself in God's love. If you lose your love, Rest in God's love and watch what happens. Whoa, what's happening, Kensley? Like the red going to the two other hearts. Wait, did you color the other hearts? No. Oh, let's take a look at this. Does everybody see this? God's love, when we rested in God's love, it spread to those around us. God's love, it just overflows in you. You can't keep it all in. It just keeps spreading and spreading and spreading all over the place. So when you rest in God's love, then it fills you up first and then fills others too. It's like when God gives us love, we can't keep it in our hearts and be selfish. We have to be nice to other people. And when 
we show God's love to other people, they'll love God and us. When I lose love and I feel like maybe oh, nobody loves me or nobody really cares about me anyway, or maybe you're just feeling like, oh, I just don't feel like loving anybody today. You just kind of feel cranky and you don't really know how to show love. That's when you look to God and you rest in his love. And when you rest in his love, what happens? It fills you up, 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 up to overflowing. So then you feel loved because obviously God loves you. He sent Jesus for you. And we all know that kids are God's favorite. Favorite. You are his favorite. And you are so, 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 super so loved. All you need to do is just rest in his love. I like to rest in God's love by reading my Bible or just looking at the pictures and singing songs to him. That's great. How about you, Kensley? I look at pages of the Bible. One time I did the whole thing and singing songs alone with him. So you like to have some alone time with God? That is great. And then how do you feel after you rest in his love? Oh, great. <laughs> Refreshed in God's love. <laughs> Refreshed and great. That's how I want to feel too. So when you rest in his love and you know how much he loves you, then it fills your heart so that you can love others too. Let God love you so you can love others too. How, Ms. Alicia, do I rest in God's love? Well, you can think about it, you can talk to God, or you can even read your Bible about verses about love. Kensley, what's a Bible verse about love? Love never stops loving. First Corinthians 13, verse eight. Whoa, I felt my heart filling up with love just listening to that. God is love, 1 John 4, 8. Awesome. And when I know that God is love, and he never stops loving, even when I'm having a kind of a hard morning, yeah, God never stops loving you. You let yourself fill up with love, then you can love others too. Find God and you will find love. Ah, I love that. <laughs> Especially this month as we're celebrating Love Month and Valentine's Day is coming up. Woo! Woo! That is an amazing time to find God's love for you so that you can find love for others too. We can't wait to find you here with us next time. See you again soon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye.